All right, so today I'll be working on this 2001 Nissan Maxima. I'll be changing the starter on it. So let me get the car jacked up and situated. I'm gonna get right back with you. All right, so first things first, what you wanna do is remove this batter, uh, negative battery cable. Remove that, put it to the side. Nextly, what I'm gonna do is, there is a little clamp right here. You see this right here? I can't really show y'all, but this big one right there, you're gonna move that back, pull it to the side. So I'm gonna do both of that, both of those, and I'm gonna get ready. Okay, so next we got this air mass airflow sensor. Uh, just a little tab like that. Push down on it, it comes right up. And then next we got some bolts. We got uh, one, two, and three. I'm gonna do all that and get right back with you. My bad, yeah, we gonna get them three off. One, two, and three that I showed y'all. One, two, and three, but there's also two more right here. One and one. Be careful, cause uh, yeah, be careful because this little wire harness, I don't want it to break. So once we get all those off, it's going to release this whole thing right here. So let me do that get right back. And they're also 10 millimeter bolts. Don't know if I said that, but yeah, 10 millimeter. Okay, so we're going to undo this clamp right here. And then it should just lift all the way up after that. And then we're going to disengage it from here. And um, I'm going to show you all the next step after that. Get right back with it. All right, once you pick it up, you're gonna see that there's a little hose right there. Just get that off like that. Set this air box to the side like this. Set it to the side. Once you do that, you can see pretty much where the starter sits. So, let me go ahead and start taking off some of these battery connections. And uh, I'm gonna get right back with y'all. Also, after you get those battery connections off, you have this right here, this wire that goes to the starter right here. Um, you just press this tab down right there and it comes right off. So I'm gonna do that, get right back. All right, so let me close this door. So what we got, so you do, I didn't do my battery connections yet cause I'm about to move this little wire harness out of my way right here. Um, I believe it's like, Okay, yeah, it just came up. Wow. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get this battery harness off. I wanted to show y'all where the bolts are that hold on the starter. Um, this just kind of moves out the way. It's two of them. There's one, no, there's one right there. I'm not sure the size. And then there's one right there. So I'm gonna get both of those off and um, show y'all what that look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, no, sorry, scratch that. Um, that is not the bolt right there. It's, it's, I wanna move this out the way. I can't really show you. It's like, it's right there behind this little hook looking thing. So it's, that looks about a 14 and then a 17 right there. So those are the two bolts that I'm gonna get off and I'm gonna get right back with you guys. All right, once you get that big old 17 millimeter bolt out, and this little 14 millimeter bolt out, it just comes right up like this. Look at that. All that for that. So yeah, that's basically what you guys do. Real, real easy, it's not hard at all. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.